He says they were gruesome. Certainly, indeed, uh, Oklahoma's Jim Inhofe, the first senator to see the Osama bin Laden death photos. He's now live with me on the Hill in uh, Washington, D.C. Senator, good morning to you. Uh, you you pushed you, Leon Panetta, the CIA director, hard to see these. Why did you want to see them? Well, I, I felt that, first of all, I think some of these should be released to the public. I just I, I felt that way and said that all along. Then I made the statement. I said, you know, if you're not going to do that while you're thinking about it, at least let the members see so they can convey back to people, in my case, my state of Oklahoma, yeah, he's dead. They got him. Yeah. And so uh, and what, what, what that, did, that's what did you on. What did you see yesterday then? Are you convinced well, he's yeah, dead? Well, yesterday, Bill, got I, I, yeah, absolutely. We saw 15 pictures. Uh, the first 12 were actually, I guess, were taken within the first minute after the hit in, in the compound itself, like they're lying on the floor. The, it had three of those 12 pictures were old pictures of Osama bin Laden for comparison purposes. It made it very easy to make that positive identification. Uh, obviously, the, there are two shots, one in the chest, one uh, that were visible in these pictures, one of them going through the left eye, coming out the right ear. Uh, and so that, that was, the, of course, the, the gruesome ones. Yeah, you also you, most... you described these pictures as messy too. And I, I, th there were two different groups, essentially photos. The one you described of the compound, and some others on board the USS Carl Vincent. And now you've That's seen correct. those pictures also. I guess this was a, a, for lack of a better phrase, a cleaned up version of seeing his body. Now those pictures, you think the public should see? Why? Yeah, I think it's, it's not just a cleaned up version. It, they're pictures while they're cleaning him up. And there are two pictures, all cleaned up, then the picture of the actual burial. Those, for two reasons. First of all, they're not as gruesome as the others. But the second reason is, it's easier for the general public to identify who that person is once, that pers once Osama is cleaned up. So for that reason, if they're going to use them, that's probably the, uh, the best pictures to use. Would you anticipate, after talking with Leon Panetta, that that might be a possibility after your own experience? Uh, well, first of all, I, I, I appreciate the fact that after uh, talking to him that he did invite me to come in to uh, see the pictures. And so I, I, I don't know whether that's a possibility or not. I can't get through. I, I don't have a lot of insight uh, in, in the uh, administration. Uh, it? But I, I, I wouldn't be, it depends on where the, what the public does. If the public really demands it, I think it'll happen. Just one more question here. The pictures at the compound, was it easy to identify him? Or, or were they the as gruesome as others have suggested? Yeah, you know, they, they were gruesome because you had a, a lot of the inter internal parts of the brain and others coming out of the, of the, of the socket and all of that. So it, it wasn't as easy to identify. You had to study it, look very carefully, and uh, compare it with some of the other uh, pictures of, of the past. Yeah. In a word, are you satisfied now? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. He's gone. And I'm satisfied. Senator, thank you for your time. We'll bring you back next week and talk about some of the issues you have with more detainees going to Gitmo. I know it's a big issue what, for what you, and we'll talk about. about that next week. Senator, thank you. Thank again you, Bill. Have it. And possibly their family.